But when we set time to reevaluate our lives and the people that are in our lives, we can usually see, such as using this exercise or this simple tool, we can usually see where a lot of it can stem from. After leaving the corporate nine to five grind, I became the boss of my own spiritual business, helping others explore and navigate the human experience from insight, wisdom, and lessons learned along the way. Today, I help aspiring spiritual entrepreneurs gain the confidence to share their gifts with the world. Welcome to the Happy Healing Shop Podcast. I'm your host, Trang Pham Nguyen, and each week we'll dive into incredible stories of strength, resilience, and transformation. So if you are ready for some serious breakthroughs, laughs and tears, and stories that will inspire you, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's get started. Hi there. Today, I'm going to show you an exercise that can help you really see who the people that are draining in your life, the people that lift you up or energize you. And the reason why this exercise is so helpful is because a lot of times we feel obligated to see certain people, whether they are friends with history or family and you're related by blood, or maybe in the past they've helped you out and you feel like you owe them something. Now, this is a great exercise if you are a visual person, but also it kind of gives clarity on what you kind of already know, but confirms it even more. So For this exercise, you can grab a paper and pen. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a square. You're going to draw four boxes like this. So the boxes towards the top means you are energized by these type of people or you enjoy their company and um, being in their presence. If it's at the bottom, you'll see that you're more drained, you're tired, or you just kind of don't feel as great coming out of hanging out with them or you feel icky sometimes. And finally, on the left side, you'll see that it's going to be people you see probably less often. These might be acquaintances, maybe distant coworkers, maybe in a different department. And then on the right side of the boxes here, you see these people more often. Then what you're going to do is you are going to take a post-it note write the name of people in your life. So for this example, I'm going to write down Bob. Now, Bob might be a coworker that I see quite often because he's on my team or he sits literally five desks down from me. And my interactions with Bob have been pretty decent. Well, I don't feel drained by him. Overall, it's a good interaction. So I would put him in the box where I see him often and He's someone that energizes or I enjoy being with. So you get the gist. However, when you start getting to family, especially family or certain friends, you actually are probably doing this exercise already in your head. You'll be able to get a visual of how many people drain you. And when you're writing their name down on a post-it note, you can already tell exactly where you're going to put them on this sheet of paper. So the ones that give you anxiety or that really drain you, they're going to be the people that are in the bottom squares, right? And the thing is, if you see them often, that means most likely you need to place boundaries or limit your interactions with them. And obviously people at the top of the charts, they are people that are good for your energy, that are good to interact with. And the reason why this exercise is also helpful is that it helps you visually see all this and be really honest with yourself. That friend that you've been complaining about for the past couple months or even years, chances are you probably have to set a limit on hanging out or seeing this person. Or even that family member that always gives you an icky feeling or it's very frustrating to be around with, or they just always completely drain you. Now with this exercise, you can always do it every couple of months to kind of keep yourself updated and to check in with yourself. Because a lot of times we kind of grow towards certain people and we grow apart from others. And if we don't check in with ourselves, then we end up hanging on to certain relationships longer than we should. And sometimes we feel anger, frustration, resentment, um, or a lot of pain and sadness. And at times it might be hard to figure out why we feel this way in life. But when we set time to reevaluate our lives and the people that are in our lives, we can usually see, such as using this exercise or this simple tool, we can usually see 
where a lot of it can stem from. And I know it's really hard sometimes with family or a coworker or a boss that um, it feels a bit disempowering or you might feel helpless on what you're able to do with that. So I hope this exercise helped you pause and reevaluate on the people and the energy that you're surrounding yourself with. And sometimes we really do outgrow a lot of relationships and it's hard saying bye to them sometimes or find a way to maybe slow fade away from them. But once we are aware of where these heavy emotions are coming from, then we are able to figure out the next steps on what to do because we've found the source of the problem. If you're looking for a community to get help and support on your own healing journey, I invite you to check out the Happy Healing Club, my membership where we have monthly healing events and workshops. In addition, you get a copy of our Shadow Work Self-Healing Journal, our archive of guided meditations, and most importantly, our happy hour and getting access to a community of people who are cheering you on and are happy to support you. I also have the Facebook group Happy Healers and more free online resources and also online classes can be found on our website, thehappyhealingshop.com, which I'll include all down below in the show notes. I'd love to hear from you if you did this exercise and found it to be helpful, if there were some people you are not expecting to be on the bottom of the chart, or even any realizations you've had. Thank you so much for being here with me today, and I'll see you soon.